Hey, I'm Steve Speck with XO Mountain Gear. In this video, we're gonna walk you through the all new K4 quick release rifle carrier. The idea behind this was have the rifle mount directly to the pack, have it be nice and secure. You've got really good weight distribution. Uh, at the same time, I wanted to be able to build in quick access to it so that I can hunt hands-free. I can use my binoculars, I can use my trekking poles. If I get in technical terrain, I've got both hands available to kind of climb up rocks and, and roots and whatnot. Uh, while at the same time, if I'm out there hunting and an animal jumps out in front of me at 200 yards, I can get the rifle off quickly, get it to my shoulder and make a nice shot. We tested this on a bunch of guys. The average is three to four seconds. Once they learn the technique, you wanna practice it just a few times. Um, some of the features of it, so this is the receiver end that the butt of the rifle stock is going to fit into. It mounts to the side of the pack, so you can go uh, right side, left side. We'll do an another video as well to kind of show alternative uses for this. You can take it and mount the rifle to the front of the bag if you like. I'm not a big fan of that because you're taking, you know, seven to 10 pounds and putting that as far, far away from your back. So it's gonna kind of pull back on you and you're gonna lose the ability to do quick access. You can uh, run this off the front of the pack and put a bow cam in there if you've got a longer axle to axle bow. So there's some alternative features. We'll do that in a separate video. Going back to the, the base here, so it's gonna mount to, it's gonna, the webbing's gonna slide through this molly panel, the same panel that we would use for our Nalgene. So if you are running an Nalgene and a rifle, you need to be on opposite sides. So for me, right-handed guy, uh, I want my rifle on the right side. I'll then move my Nalgene pocket to the left side. When I'm bow hunting, I'll flip that around. I'll, I'll run the Nalgene on the right, just so that when I'm shooting, I don't kind of have that Nalgene carrier down here on the side. The weight of it, just like the Nalgene, when the, when the rifle is mounted to it, the weight of it is transferring into the frame and into the bag. It's not pulling down on the hip belt at all. One other feature of the, the receiver here is that we did sew this elastic binding into the top of it so that it's grabbing onto the rifle stock. That way, if I'm out there hunting and I got a snack in the lid and I take the pack off and I set it down, it's holding onto that. So when I go to pick the rifle back up, it hasn't slid out of there. If, if you have a really loose receiver, it, you have the ability to, to drop that. So there, definitely a focus on rifle security. The, uh, the top strap has a, a locking cam to it so that it can't loosen up. And then again, this has this elastic that's grabbing onto the rifle stock so that it's not accidentally falling out there when I'm, when I'm hunting. The worst case scenario is I've got this quick release rifle system, but if the rifle is at all prone to being able to fall out, that could completely derail an entire hunt. So focused on security while also main, making sure that we had relatively quick access to get the rifle to the shoulder. The top quick release strap uh, is very simple to mount and use. It's got two tri-glides that slide onto this webbing and you simply put it on. The side that goes closest to the frame has the female buckle and it's an elastic uh, webbing here so that it's kind of wrapping and stretching around the front of the stock and that also kind of gives a spring effect. So when you go to pop that buckle, it's kind of shooting off of there and you can grab onto the barrel and stock and get it to your shoulder quickly. Um, another side benefit to this system now is if I'm packing meat and the bag's detached from the frame, we're uh, no longer just dependent on this top strap to hold the rifle because this is holding on to the rifle. The rifle will sit in the exact same place. I'll have the same quick, quick access to it whether I'm packing meat or not. In this short clip, just wanted to show you how the K4 quick release rifle carrier accessory works while you're hauling meat. One of the big advantages to this new system is because that strap is attached to the top webbing that goes from the frame to the bag, where the rifle sit never changes depending on if you have the bag attached or not. So obviously I've got kind of simulated boned out meat here, but on the rifle side, everything's sitting in the exact same place that it was before. And if I need quick access, I simply reach back, unbuckle it, pull it out, and I can make a shot. So really handy to have, you know, even if you're helping your buddy pack meat, uh, and a deer jumps out on the trail in front of you, you can still get your rifle quickly and make a shot. Next part of the video here, we're going to show how to mount this. It's very easy and quick to do. You start with the lower. The gray binding here is gonna always be pointing out. So on right side this way, if I'm swinging around to the left side, it rotates 180 degrees, it's pointing out. The receiver here itself is built so that it can be flipped around and mirrored and doesn't matter. I'm going to go to the side that mounts to the harness first, and it's uh, you just want to slide off. This is a quick attach ladder lock. Slide that off. I'm going to set that aside. 
and I'm going to slide the webbing through this molly here. So gray pointing out and then simply slide that. And you can run that all the way through on the back side or right now I'm just going to kind of go through one and it popped out the other. Slide that up. So we're, we're mounting through that molly, which is going to kind of help keep the rifle sitting back here a little ways and not forward where it's hitting into your butt. And then you're going to take that quick attach ladder lock. And the best way to do this is just loosen up the harness webbing good and loose and then just kind of pinch a loop and you're going to put that right on to that tab that's cut into there. Pop it through and now it's sitting on and then you're going to want to slide that basically all the way down once it's mounted so that it's sitting at the very base of this webbing. I'll take the webbing from the rifle carrier now and slide that through. and then pull that down. And then basically, same process on the front. I'm just gonna to attach to this piece of webbing here. So I'm gonna loosen this up and come down to this tri-glide here, create another loop, and then take the quick attach ladder lock, pop it through, slide it up, and then you just be able to cinch that back down. The height of this depends on your rifle. Uh, and basically we want to set this up so that when the rifle is mounted in here, that this top strap is basically sitting at the stock, but above the scope. So you can, you can kind of have it, you can fluctuate the height up and down of the, of the receiver end so that I can adjust if, do I want the rifle sitting a little, a little bit lower so that the top of the barrel is a better clearance, or am I more concerned with the rifle hanging down too low? So I, I'll move it up as high as I can. To mount the quick release strap, simply gonna come to this top strap of the pack and I'm gonna, I gotta slide this webbing off so we can slide the rifle strap on. And you just wanna make sure that nothing gets twisted in here. The elastic side of this is gonna go closest to the frame. And so you just kind of visualize putting that on there like this. So I'm gonna take the webbing, make sure it's not twisted run through the first part of the tri-glide and then back through this side. And then I'm gonna slide that all the way forward. You want this as close to your shoulder as possible so when I reach back to grab it for the quick release function, it's sitting right there. Depending on your rifle setup and, and the stock configuration, you can kind of slide this strap back and forward. You're just gonna have the best access to it the closest to the frame that it is. So again, make sure that nothing's twisted here. Everything's sitting flat. And I'll go put the webbing through this part. And back through like that. And so now I've got that mounted on there. You can unbuckle it and see Basically, I want to set the distance between the two tri-glides so that it kind of matches the distance of my barrel and forend of the stock. Um, through practice, I know that's pretty dang good right there. Um, but you just do want to match that to your gun. Then I just simply go back and attach the female buckle that we took off earlier again. Always just make sure that nothing gets twisted up on you. So now we've got that mounted, got the quick release strap open, and then I'm just going to kind of line this up. So, and you wanna kind of pull down on this so that it's pulling on both straps evenly. That looks pretty good. Drop the rifle in there. And then now you can see that looks really dialed in. Just grab this and you've kind of got that elastic stretch to it. So I'm gonna wrap that around the corner so that the buckle is sitting on the side of the rifle stock and simply pop that in. Then on here, you've got this kind of cam locking strap to it. So I'm just gonna pull that and you want good tension, but you don't want too much tension on there, just enough to hold it securely in place, but not so much that it's kind of really like putting a lot of pressure on the buckle. If you do that, the buckle can bind up a little bit. So get it snug, but not overly tight. And then that's it. The rifle is now mounted to the pack. Tighten that back up. It's super secure on the side of the pack there. And when I'm hiking down the trail, if I need to get to it, I simply just reach back. 
and I'm going to be pinching onto the buckle and you, you grab onto the barrel with your other three fingers and you can pull it off. Next part of the video, I will walk through how to do that while I'm wearing the pack and show you how quick and easy it is to do. Okay, so now I've got the rifle mounted to the pack. You can see it's extremely stable and secure. It's mounted to it, it's not going anywhere. That locking buckle on there is gonna prevent the webbing from slipping. So it's really kind of no fuss, uh, you know, out of sight, out of mind, but I do have that quick access to it. Uh, so if I'm hiking down the trail and I need to get to it, it's a really simple process. I'm gonna take my thumb and pointer finger and reach back and I'm basically gonna grab onto the buckle while at the same time using my other three fingers to kind of hold onto the barrel like this. And it's just one motion of reaching back, grabbing onto it, and be able to point and shoot. So three to four seconds tops to be able to get the rifle from the pack to your shoulder. Uh, again, really happy with how this accessory turned out, you know, in keeping with all of our Exo Mountain Gear accessories and pack designs, focus on simple, easy to use, and it just plain works. So for more information, you can check us out at exomountaingear.com.